I have um, like a huge fear of death and all that kind of stuff. So like, I, I just feel my sister's a nurse and, you know, she's seen people die many times, like right in front of her. And I've like never experienced that. And I just can't imagine ever being able to experience that. So I'm always so curious about people who see that on a daily basis and, and how they manage that, because I feel like I would internalize that so much and I would take that home. And, you know, sometimes I lay in bed at night and think about like, how am I going to die and what's going to happen? And like, what happens after you die? And what am I going to do with this person dies? It's like, it's a terrible thing. It's a problem yeah. for me. Yeah. <laughs> so and I'm always I, curious I like as to how people handle that. I, I always thought like the, the death part of it, it's, it's a little unsettling, especially when it is very sudden. Um, I dealt with a lot of hospice patients. So a lot of their deaths, like it was something that was, of a finish that they're actually finally finding peace. Um, the kids, the young children, I always like to think that maybe possibly something bad was going to happen to them soon. And that this kind of kept them from experience some experiencing something that was horrible. And there are so many horrible things going on in this world that, you become um, kind of introduced to in in that line of business that you can kind of set yourself aside and see that, okay, this child that might have lost their life from a motor vehicle accident might have been in some sort of situation later on in life and it kind of helped them keep them from doing that. They keep their innocence, if, if you will. That's an interesting take. So it's kind of like this idea of, I don't know if I, if you want to call it. That they're going to a better place. They're always going to a better place. Do you believe in like the afterlife? Like, what do you think happens when you die? This is a random turn for a porn Uh podcast to take, but like, (laughs) since we're on the subject, Um, like. mm -hmm. I, I believe that there is something I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's maybe a manifestation of ourselves or if it's some huge thing where we can go back and be with the people that we loved um, or if it's just nothingness. But in a way, if it is just nothingness, then wouldn't it want to make your living your life here as good as you want it. So I, I always try to teeter on that line of, of I'm going somewhere cool, but you know what? I'm going to live my life here just as well as I could possibly live it there just in case if nothing happens later on. Right. As opposed to like people who, you know, I mean, obviously this, this really plays out in religion, but people who deny themselves all kinds of pleasure and live these like kind of really strict Calvinistic lifestyles because they Mm -hmm. think that they're going to have this marvelous afterlife afterwards. And I always, you know, think to myself like, man, like what if you're wrong and like, you don't get that and you wasted your life. But then I'm like, what if I'm wrong and there is an afterlife and then I don't get to go because <laughs> I'm doing like all this shady shit in my regular life. And I guess like ultimately, I mean, we'll never know. Right. And there's probably some comfort that people must get. There, there's got to be like an enormous amount of comfort from people who believe in the afterlife and believe that they're going to have an afterwards. I feel like that in itself is a kind of a reward to have really have that faith. I don't know. But the, the, there's this faith and then there's this thing of like, you, you're you not being able to enjoy this world, this life right now that you're living in, in this moment, because you're waiting for something in the future. Yeah, exactly. You're waiting like, for what, this what better thing. And then, well, if I have to be this pure person now, then what is that better place? Like, what are you going to be able to do in that better place? That's going to be amazing. 
Yeah. It's like you if want you can't to have struggle so many times right. in the here and now. Yeah. Like if you can't have orgies now, are you going to be able to have them later in the afterlife? Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> do those thoughts just disappear? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy, right? It's like, I don't know. Okay. My head's going to explode.